Hey everyone, in today's session, we will discuss about the two most popular web framework, Angular and React. We will start the discussion with the introduction, then compare it on the basis of developer's point of view and then on the basis of individual and finally the final verdict. So let's get started. To know about other IT courses like Python, Data Science and Machine Learning, subscribe to SSD and Technologies and press the bell icon. Angular is developed by Google and was first released in 2010. It is a TypeScript based JavaScript framework. The latest stable version is Angular 9 which was released on 7 Feb 2020. Since Angular is originally created by Google, so it is actively supported by Google and individual community of developers as well. It is fully featured JavaScript framework which helps to develop dynamic web application. The React was developed by Facebook and was initially released in 2013. The Facebook uses React extensively in their products that is Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp. The current stable version is 16.x released in November 2018. The React had a simple aim to divide the UI into a collection of components to simplify the development process of visual interfaces. In React, codes are easy to understand. The use cases of Angular are the Guardian, PayPal, Netflix and YouTube. The website built on React are Facebook, Dropbox, Tesla and Airbnb. Let's come to the license. Before you can use an open source framework, make sure you go through its license. Interestingly, both Angular and React use MIT license. Now we will compare it on the basis of developer's point of view on various parameters. Number 1. Framework size. The size of the Angular is approximately 500 KB and React has only 100 KB. The Angular is suitable for complex applications while React is for lightweight applications. Scripting language. The Angular uses TypeScript which is statistically typed. TypeScript is meant to be friendlier for the developers having an OOP based background. It combines UI template and JavaScript logic. This is known as JSX. It only requires the knowledge of JavaScript. The next is document object modeling. Angular uses a real dome while React uses a virtual dome. In Angular you have to update the whole dome tree while in React the code can make small changes without changing the whole dome tree. The next factor is data binding. The Angular uses a two way binding. It helps the two layers updated with the same data. It binds the HTML element to the model variable and not just display it but also changes it in the backend. The React being a framework uses one-way binding. It does not follow the automatic approach but stick to the simple yet solid architecture. Most important parameter of any framework is performance. Angular is an end-to-end -end solution while React only provides suitable solution for deploying simple applications. That is why React has superior rendering speed than Angular while Angular also improves its speed in the current version. Migration from one version to another can be a trouble for the developers. The Angular usually releases major updates every 6 months. Also, there is a period of another 6 months before any major APIs are depreciated. It ultimately means developers have two release cycles of 6 months to make changes. The React believes in the stability, so it is quite easier for the developer to migrate from one version to another. Let's compare it on the individual point of view, the learning curve. The learning curve of any framework is not just limited to the coding. It also includes elements like debugging, testing is also an issue for the projects which require significant amount of code. The Angular has steep learning curve due to its ability of handling complex projects while the learning curve of React is just moderate. The next factor is popularity. Angular and React both have gained the popularity over the discussion forms on the GitHub and states the React is more popular than Angular. Now let's come to the most important factor, market trend. Even on many features, React is more powerful than Angular but when we look on the job trend, the popular sources like LinkedIn, Simply Hired and Indeed show that the organizations are more willing to hire Angular developers than React. The final verdict is, the Angular is a complete package that offers you all the tools right from the development to testing whereas React is a flexible library that requires the support of other libraries for the development. Angular is a good choice for the companies with large team and developers who have TypeScript knowledge, while React is good for developers who love flexibility. 
let's sort it on the basis of the projects. You can choose Angular because it is reliable and scalable framework and when you want to develop real-time applications. You can choose the React if you are looking for flexible framework and want to develop single page applications. The only aim of this tutorial is to provide you brief knowledge of both the frameworks and compare them on different parameters. The final choice of choosing the framework is still in the hand of developers based on the skill and application requirement.